Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can create a, a link for your Power BI report, which will be a website uh, web, website link or web portal link, okay? So if you don't know the same, please proceed by watching this video. First of all, uh, you need to have a Power BI service account with Pro License to create a web link, okay? And uh, I'm going to show you how you can create a web link, okay? So first of all, you need to publish this report. Just click on OK. And after publishing, uh, after cl uh, clicking on Publish tab, you will get, you know, uh, it will take you through the your service account and uh, it will show you what kind of workspace uh, you have over there, like uh, on your service account, okay? So from that, you need to select your uh, workspace from where you need to add this Power BI report, okay? Just select that. And uh, just uh, already I have this report. So I'm going to replace that, okay? In, case, uh, in your case, it will ask you for the OK option, OK? Just click on OK. And I'm going to open that report. Right. So uh, now what I want to do, I want to create a link for this My Power BI report. So when you uh, go to the file option and the embed report, so here you will get the different options like uh, you have a SharePoint online website or portal published to web and developer playground. So as uh, for this video, I'm going to talk about uh, website or portal and publish to web. So uh, publish to web. It is a it will generate a link which is open for all the users okay so even uh, those users who don't have any power bi account power bi service account so that uh, those uh, users can also able to see your power bi report okay so when you click on publish to web so it will create a link okay which is accessible by the any user anytime even those users who don't have any power bi service account okay then we have a, a website or portal, okay? So uh, in this scenario, if suppose you have a scenario, you want to embed your Power BI report to another like kind of situation like CRM or any website. So that time you can go for the website or portal link, okay? So here you can see here we have two types of link. So first of all, uh, you have, uh, this is a uh, embed like content, you have a link. So this link is only accessible by those users who have already Power BI service account, okay? And this is this link, HTML link, which allows us to embed this report on a particular or a website or any kind of situation like CRM, like uh, Salesforce. So that time you can go for this link, okay? So I'm going to show you, copy. I'm going to open this link in new tab, okay? Just control V. So first of all, uh, when you copy paste this link in new tab, it will ask you for the year login credentials. So it is not visible for me because already I have log logging into this. That's why it, it's not asking for me. But in your case, it will ask you for the credentials. So it is necessary to have. It is necessary to have a Power BI service account. So if to this kind of like website or portal when you are creating this kind of link, okay? But you want to, so when to uh, go for the website or portal kind of link or publish to web link, okay? Suppose you want to share your report to those users who don't have Power BI service account. So that time you can go for the publish to web, okay? but you want to embed this report on a particular uh, CRM kind of thing or uh, uh, you want to share this report only those users who have a Power BI service account. So that can, that time you can go for the website or portal links. Okay. So I hope you understood what is the difference between these kind of links and when to go for the which type of links. So if you like this video, please do share, like and subscribe. Thank you.